Hi everybody. Have you ever observed that the clothes you wear every day do not feel the same or even look the same? Some are soft while others are coarse. They even change in different seasons. Clothes form a very integral part of a life. They protect our body from various weather conditions. They protect us from insect bites, thorns, etc. They also enhance our personality and to an extent reflect our social status. The history of clothing can be traced back to the ancient times when people used to cover themselves up with bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs. Around 40,000 years ago it seems man invented needle from bones and stitching of fabrics came into existence. Now children, what are fibers? It's a class of materials that are continuous filaments and can be spun into threads, strings or ropes. Fibers are of three types. Dietary. These are usually found in food. You must have felt them while chewing on a cardamom or eating a lady's finger. These fibers have no role in fabric formation. Apart from dietary fibers, we have fibers which is used for fabric formation and they are of two types, natural and synthetic. Natural fibers are fibers which we get from plants and are made of cellulose like cotton, jute, etc. Natural fibers can also be got from animals like wool, silk and these are made of proteins. Whereas synthetic fibers are those fibers which are made by man with the help of chemicals. Fibers are generally thin and short in length. So first they are taken in bunches, pressed and twisted to form long yarns. These yarns are further made into fabrics and stitched into garments. Spinning of yarns is done on a small scale by charkha or takli and on large scale in power looms with the help of modern spinning machines. Once they are made into yarns, they are either woven into a fabric with the help of two sets of yarns, example a sari or knitted with the help of one set of yarn, example pair of socks. The fabric which is ready with the help of yarns can be grouped into natural and synthetic. Fabrics manufactured from natural fibers fall under this category. Example, we get cotton from cotton fibers. We get jute from jute fibers. We get linen from flax seeds. Coir from coconut husk and sisal from sisal leaves. Let me tell you the story of cotton, one of the most popular natural fiber. Cotton plant is a small annual shrub. Its fruit, called the cotton ball, small, round and green. It has many hairy seeds within it. On maturing, the ball bursts open. The cotton is then collected, but it's important to separate the innumerable black seeds. This is done with the help of large steel combs and it's called ginning. The ginned cotton is then pressed into bales which are then transported to the factories with the fiber is first spun into yarn and then woven to make cotton fabric. The finished fabric is then used to make saris, towels, bandage, 
wicks, curtains, bed covers and many more. Another natural and one of the cheapest fiber is jute. This fiber is widely used as packaging material make for use for making ropes, bags and clothing. Now let's talk about some animal fibers and the most popular among them is wool. It's obtained from the hair on the body of sheep, goat or rabbit. The hair is first removed from the body of the animal by a process called shearing. Then it's processed to make yarns which is then further woven or knitted to make woolen clothes which keep us warm in winters because of the air trapping quality of woolen fibers. Another popular and sophisticated animal fiber is silk. Silk worms are reared on mulberry leaves. The silk fiber is then obtained from the cocoons which is a protective covering that the silk worm weaves around it. Silk with its luster has many uses. It's used for making high fashion clothing, upholstery, etc. And here are the names of the some synthetic fibers. Nylon, terylene, polyester. They are all made with the help of chemicals. Natural fibers are comfortable and skin friendly but expensive. Whereas synthetic fibers are not very comfortable but cheap and easy to maintain. Thus natural and synthetic fibers are mixed together to get blended fabrics. Example terricot, a blend of cotton and terylene. With that I say bye bye. Have a great day. Happy clothing.